welcome to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am going to declutter my closet once again. I feel that we are changing somewhat from spring more to summer here in California. There's been quite a few really warm days. So what I'm gonna do is go through my closet and be really picky about what I wanna keep and what I have not been wearing. And a while back, I'll link the video, but a while back I had switched all my hangers um, around the opposite way. And then now I've revisited those hangers that I've switched around and it's been at least, I would say four or five months since I switched those hangers around and I've noticed that I have not worn a lot of items. So those items I'm going to reevaluate if I wanna keep them or not. My goal is to get rid of the clothes that I tend to never wear anything I put on and take off or anything that I find really annoying. There's quite a few materials that cling that I just don't like, so I'm probably going to donate those items. Here is my closet. See, these are all the hangers I've already decluttered a lot. And um, there's quite a few things in here I do need to really go through. This is a project, it's the kids' photo albums. I just wanna get that done. I'm probably gonna schedule that for a weekend to just tackle. I also have a lot of hats I'd like to organize, as well as the jewelry needs to be organized. This is like a cord camera section. It's just insane. Um, this is my laundry basket and pants. Um, and then I have dresses and coats on this side, and then this is where my shirts go. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is put all of these winter shirts in a drawer and then hang all my summer stuff that I'm gonna wear all the time. I do like to keep some more casual shirts, probably about two that I can do yard work in or go do something active in. So I am going to keep a few of those, um, probably two or three, and then the rest of the shirts, I'm just gonna keep stuff that I wear out and the stuff that I really, really love. Also, I love the KonMari way of folding. So here are all my shirts. And this shirt, I really like. It's Jones, New York. I've had it for quite a while, but it's getting really faded. And I'm just noticing whenever I wear it, it just doesn't look as good as it used to. So I'm gonna donate this one. Here is a sweater I bought from Old Navy. It was a really great sale. And I'm a reminded once again, not to shop at Old Navy because <laughs> everything I buy there just Immediately you wash it and it just loses its shape. These two shirts I've decided I'm gonna get rid of. It's that material that every time I put it on, I tend to take it off because it just clings. Leave me a comment below and let me know when you like to do your sorting out uh, the most, when's the best time of the year, do you think? Um, I'm just, you know, sorting through all this stuff and trying to figure out what I wear, but maybe doesn't look that great, like my tank top that is all faded. I've had that for over four years and I really love it, but it's just, is it, you know, I shouldn't be wearing these faded clothes. So um, I'm gonna donate it. And plus I have more than one black tank top. Um, again, it's that material that clings too. So I'm gonna donate this one. And most importantly, what I'm realizing with these shirts that I'm saying cling is to not buy this type of shirt anymore because obviously I don't like it. And I've kept them for a really long time even though I never wear them. So now is the time to donate them and hopefully someone can wear this that likes this type of shirt. Here is a vintage shirt that Grant doesn't want anymore and I've decided I'm going to turn it into a bathing suit cover up. I'm gonna sew it, I'm gonna cut it into a tank top. And so here's the pile of donations so far, and here's my pile I'm gonna hang up in my closet. Here are all my tank tops and my work shirts. And now I'm gonna go through this winter stuff and probably fold that and put it in the drawer since I won't be using it. So this is where we're at now with the closet. Here are all my winter clothes. I'm gonna keep this sweater. This, I'm done. I'm gonna donate this. I just didn't really wear it this last winter. This I really like still. This I'm on the fence. I think I might be over this 
it's kind of this poor sweater I love look how pilled it is I love it but it's so I was embarrassed when I wore this out the other day this I like you have to either fold it or hang it like this so it doesn't get misshapen white button-up I actually wore this and I really like it sweatshirt I've had forever but still love this is also really stretched out and misshapen so this might go as well this I still love this is still good and I think I'm over the disco sparkle sweater so I've folded all my sweaters and put them down in this bottom drawer so this is all winter and I won't need to get into that for a while this drawer yikes swim stuff and shorts and I'm gonna go through that another time because I know all those shorts do work but I do need to uh, fold it all better and here we have all my workout clothes and then t-shirts over here I've put the two sweatshirts that I kept my jackets I keep in this plastic container these are more fancy dresses uh, that I just wear occasionally and now I need to go through all of this so here we have something as you can see it's the flipped hanger and that means I haven't worn this in a while and I know why because every time I put it on it just is kind of flimsy and misshapen so I think I'm gonna get rid of this as you can see some of these hangers are flipped uh, the opposite way still after quite a few months of flipping my hangers uh, but the thing is that those are all summer dresses so I'm gonna give it through the summer see if I wear them and then if not by the end of summer donate them if I do not wear them at all this sweater I am finally going to get rid of. It's kind of hard to tell, but it has like puffy sleeves and I have loved this. I think I bought it at Costco over five years ago and I wore it to work all the time when I worked, but now I just can't imagine keeping this because it's so misshapen and the last few times I've put it on, I've kind of been embarrassed and so, I uh, haven't worn it in a while, so I'm gonna donate this, and hopefully next winter I will find a replacement sweater for this. Another thing is I hung all my scarves, so I'm either going, because I won't be wearing these through uh, summer, obviously, especially in California, it's so hot, there's no need for this even at night. So I am going to either hang this at the back of my closet, or I'm going to fold these up and put them into one of my drawers. Okay, I'm feeling really good about this. So here are all my summer shirts. Uh, as you can tell, I obviously have an obsession with blue shirts, white shirts, and black shirts. I think I just like the way they look on me as well as they go with almost everything else in my wardrobe. So here we go. I have my white tank tops, blue shirts, black shirts, and then this dresses I don't use very often back here, coats I don't use very often back here, jackets I might use on a cold night, and then here I have all my dresses. So I've gone, again, black and blue, and then a few prints. So um, I've put them in order, and like I said, these hangers are kind of flip-flopped, so we will see if I wear them, and I'll give the dresses a try. If for some reason I don't wear them, I'll donate them. Now for the pants. I've decided I'm going to donate the blue pants. I really like them, but lately whenever I wear them, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas and I feel like people look at me like I'm wearing pajamas. And here's the pant situation. I've moved the more summery pants in hopes of wearing these more to the front. And then I just have my few pairs of jeans and then my one work skirt. There's the donation pile so far. So I decided to organize my shorts drawer and bathing suit drawer after all. Um, so here's all my shorts, here's the bathing suits, cover-ups, and goggles. This mess here is all broken, so I'm going to throw that away. I am debating on these two skirts. I've had this skirt since 2009, and I don't know. I just am not sure if I'm ever going to wear this. Um, maybe I'll keep it through this summer and try to wear it and if I like it then I keep it and if not I donate it. Here's the black one. Um, this one barely fits. I think I'm going to donate this one because it's really tight through the, my waist and I can actually remember when I bought this it was tight. <laughs> Comment below and let me know, do you ever hold on to clothes even though they don't fit or you haven't worn them in a long time? This is the final donation pile. 
I threw these pajamas in there that are way too big at this point. Um, and that's quite a lot to donate, so I'm happy about that. And I know everything in this pile is either worn out or something I do not wear anymore. Here is the final product and I'm so happy with this. I feel like I've accomplished a lot and the biggest goal was the middle section for me and I just feel that attracted a lot of junk and I was using it as a storage facility rather than a functional closet. So I'm so excited that now everything in my closet is something that I love to wear and something that I use on a daily basis. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know any tips or tricks you have for organizing your closet as well as your favorite time to declutter your closet which time of the year. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe to follow along on our journey of becoming more minimal.